you are built for it. You see me shining just a little bit. That's a little bit of that's a little bit of sweat. I just finished up day number 394 of my daily runs. I'm on a fitness journey, and my my whole mantra is is to rise and grind. And I've been running one mile every single day. Now I have incorporated other exercises because I'm I'm striving to reach a certain goal. And I just want to let you all know that whatever you're you're striving to achieve, that you are built for it. It's in the blueprint. I want us to step forward and not question, you know, if we're able to handle the load or the capacity um, of what we want to achieve because we are more than capable of doing it. I'm a teacher, not a speaker. I live in the metro Atlanta area, and if you're not familiar, we have a lot of major interstates, and there is one point in the city, it's referred to as Spaghetti Junction, where you have some main, you have main intersections all coming together. You have I-85 and 285. These are like the arteries of the city, but they all come together. And sometimes when the traffic is bad and you drive by and I may look and I'll see uh, multiple, numerous um, semi trucks and all these other box trucks and just all of these cars. And sometimes it almost makes me a little bit nervous. I'm like, man, can that bridge hold all of that weight? Or how is it possible that that bridge could hold all of those, all of those trucks and all of these vehicles every day? It doesn't shut down. It doesn't take a break. It's in the blueprint. It's built for it. If you've ever driven across a bridge and you heard that the thunk sound, and you may ask, what does that the thunk sound, right? It's a little bit more like this. Just imagine driving down your, driving down the road, driving across that bridge, and you hear that the thunk, the thunk, the thunk. Now, you know, you may have thought at one point maybe something on your tire or it's just something in the road, but that the thunk is something that it was built in the bridge. It was designed. It's in the blueprint. That's known as that's known as an expansion joint. You see, because a bridge is exposed to 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 harsh weather, you know, whether it's the rain, whether it's um, the actual temperature could get really hot in the summertime or it could get pretty cool below freezing in the wintertime. But just imagine you have all of these heavy vehicles. You have tons, tons of metal and rubber going across that. You have the temperature fluctuating. You have the breeze causing that, you know, causing that bridge to sway a little bit. If it did not have the, the thunk or those expansion joints, you know, that bridge will be more likely to, 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 to break down simply because of, once again, thermal expansion. And what thermal expansion states, um, this concept is as an object cools down, its particles get closer together. As an object heats up, its particles spread further apart. It becomes less dense. So just imagine, especially in Atlanta, where it could be winter in the morning and it could be summer in the afternoon. And then you have all of this weight going across, you know, a lot of, of like, like a heavy burden. So you have the particles particles in the actual bridge, the, in the particles in the metal, in the concrete, and the other parts that make it up. They're expanding, they're contracting, they're moving due to the breeze, but it's that the thunk. The, see, what happened was that the designers knew, the architects knew, the construction team knew that they had, that bridge is almost pieced in sections and that expansion joint between each section, it gives it a little bit of space so when it gets cold and, the, and, and that bridge needs to contract, it could spread a little further apart or when it gets hot and those particles start to expand, you know, it's gonna allow, it's gonna allow those sections of the bridge to push in closer together. It's a little give in between it's once again known as an expansion joint. So just like us, there's things in our design, there's things that we're equipped with, there's skill sets that we have that we, we may not even be aware of just because it may come natural to us. But I'm just taking this moment as a, as, as a teacher, not a speaker, to let you know that you are built for it. Y'all have an amazing day.